doing? I'm with store security, miss. Would you please come with me back into the store? Now, uh, please, don't make a scene. Come along peacefully. I won't embarrass you by putting on the handcuffs. you under citizen's arrest for theft. Now that you're under citizen's arrest, I'm accepting the arrest. I have to search your purse. I told you before, I never did anything like this. This whole thing is really... She's the only one, right? Right, sister. Okay, Sharon, I have to take you down the station. Isn't there any other way out of this? You're on your way out. And if you're ever on this property again, we'll arrest you for trespassing. I'm going to the sound 
taken. We have to have the pictures. Without them, you don't leave here. So the sooner you finish, the sooner you can leave. And just stare straight at the camera. Okay. Okay. Turn to the right. Stare at the sign. Okay. That's all there is. Slow down, you're, you're, you're racing a mile a minute. You were what? That's terrific. That is terrific. That's absolutely beautiful, Sharon. That's really beautiful. No, 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 no. It's absolutely wonderful. You don't know how proud that makes me. Well, of course they fingerprinted you. They, they, they do that, you know. They send the prince to Washington so that they have them on trial, so the FBI has them on trial. When can I... I don't leave here until 5.30 or 6. 
Uh, you expect me to drop everything and come running? I don't get out of here until 5.30 or 6 o'clock. I don't know what you're going to do until then, Sharon. Sympathy. Sympathy? You have no right to expect any sympathy. What, what made you do with What made you do this, Sharon? Bail is how much? All right, ask them if they take checks. Yes, I thought so. I will come about 5.30 or 6 when I am finished here. Did you call your mother yet? Yeah, I thought so. All right. Goodbye. Travel. She'll be released when the bill is paid. I want to know what's going on here. I want to know why my daughter is stealing a lousy $12 necklace from some bargain basement. Yeah, listen, John, why, 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 why go for this nickel and dime stuff? Why not go the whole way, Grand Larson? You want to you wanna rob a gas station? How about robbing a bank? Sure. Oh, be quiet. You want to rob a bank? What difference does it make? It's all the same if you get caught. All right, Roger, don't work yourself why up. Why shouldn't I work myself up? Why shouldn't I work oh. myself up? Everybody does exactly what they want in this, in this family. So I should do whatever I want. All right, all right. How about a Cadillac, John? You want a, you want a hot, hot ride in a Cadillac? Joy ride in a Cadillac? Steal a Cadillac. The judge will understand. Everybody does exactly what they want. He probably has a daughter of his own. What about your job, Sharon? You don't think they're going to keep you on cash register, do you? You'll be lucky to bust tables after this. The FBI's looking for some maniac. They'll find you in the files next to him. But probably be in the newspaper. I can't stand any more of this. Not until we get to the bottom of this. I want to know what was going on inside that head of yours. Look at this. I mean, look at this, Sharon. You've got more jewelry than I've got. How could you drop a piece of cheap chain in your purse? The necklace itself. And for what? Honey, for what? Sometimes you just do something. Just like that. Any time. I can't explain it to you now. All right, honey. We'll do the best we can, okay? Try to look decent in the morning, huh? Good night, Sharon.
before we start this morning, I have a few words for all of you. I've got over 45 cases to hear today, and we're going to get through them as fast as we can. Now, when I'm over in traffic court, I consider that you're having to get down here and get Dr. Day's pay is punishment enough. But I'm a little stricter about the offenses you're here for. And while I don't believe in packing the jailhouses full of people, I do think that anyone guilty of a petty crime should be made to pay for it. And I do mean pay. Now, I don't want to hear any loud talking or other disturbances. And I want you to pay attention. And I want you up here promptly when your case is called. Very well, Mr. Brannan, call your first case. Your Honor, the first case on the calendar is State v. Benson. Would the bailiff please call the defendant? Warren H. Benson, step forward, please. Are you Warren H. Benson? Uh, yes, I am, Your Honor. Your Honor, this is a continuation of a case from January 24th. The defendant, Mr. Benson, was testifying on his own behalf on the court recess. Oh, I see. Very well, Mr. Benson. Take your stand again. The court advises you that you're still under oath. What is your statement on these charges, Mr. Benson? Well, uh, like I said, the first time my case came up, uh, I told them, I told the uh, security dick and the, and the policeman, all I was doing is bringing back some uh, defective merchandise. Now, Mr. Benson, when you were arrested, you were walking toward your car. Isn't that true? Uh, I was going over to my car to get the receipt for the, the spark plug wires. And you told the store manager that these wires were defective? I must have said uh, three or four times, look, I bought these spark plug wires last weekend, and uh, they were no good. I was bringing them back to the store for a refund. Yet, you were observed by the store manager putting these wires under your jacket. Mr. Benson, you claim that you tried the wires and found them to be defective. Uh, but the cellophane packaging was still intact. Uh, it was a defective brand, uh, a very cheap brand. Uh, uh, I knew that from experience. Well, I cannot accept your explanation. Uh, all I'm saying is that uh, I think there's a reasonable doubt. Well, there's no doubt in the court's mind. Mr. Gordon presented videotape recordings from his store monitors as well as several witnesses. And this is the third time you've been before this court in four months. Court finds you guilty as charged. $100 fine and 30 days imprisonment. Call the next case, Mr. Brannan. State versus Travers, Your Honor. Sharon Travers. Are you Sharon Travers? Yes, I am, Your Honor. Very well, Mr. Brannan. Read the charge. Sharon Grace Travers, you are hereby charged that on or about April 19th, you did maliciously appropriate the property of another with intent to deprive him of said property thereby committing the offense of theft in the third degree in violation of Section 833 of the Revised Statutes. Do you understand that charge? Yes, sir. You're advised that the theft in the third degree is a petty misdemeanor. If you are found guilty, the court may impose a jail sentence of up to 30 days or a fine of up to $500. Now, in view of this, the court advises you that you have the right to have an attorney present. If you cannot afford one, the court will appoint one for you without cost to you. First, do you have an attorney? No, Your Honor. Do you want an attorney? No, Your Honor. Mr. Bailiff, uh, have her sign a waiver of counsel form, please. Ms. Travers, what is your plea to the charge? Guilty. Your Honor, I submit the defendant's arrest report. Very well. On your plea of guilty, the court finds you guilty as charged. Your Honor, guilty with an explanation. Very well. What is your explanation? Well, it's only that everything just got blown up into such a mess. I mean, I'm not a thief, Your Honor. I'm not a criminal. Can you uh, compose yourself? Do you realize how serious an offense like this is? Your conviction becomes a matter of public record. Anyone can look at it. The court finds you guilty as charged. 
and imposes a fine of $100 and suspends the execution of $75 of that fine for a period of 12 months. If you should return on the same offense, the court may impose a $75 fine or a jail sentence as circumstances require. You may go. Call your next case, Mr. Brown. State versus Phillips, Your Honor. James S. Phillips. James S. Phillips, please step forward. Both of you scheduled for today? Is this case continued? He is scheduled for today. Your Honor, may the record note the non-appearance of the defendant and may a bench warrant issue.